out of the game. Gang Strickler. Hey, yo, Sean Strickland, if you guys have been watching this press conference and watching Sean Strickland going crazy, bro, Sean Strickland is every man's man's, like, archetype. Like, this is a, this is what man is striving to be. Because here's the thing people need to understand. Here's the thing. Man is an unruly-ass creature. Man is just a violent, unruly-ass creature and that doesn't give a shit. That, that's really the epitome of man. We just want to be left the fuck alone, be free, talk whatever the fuck we want to say. And fight people every once in a while. That's that. That is the essence of manhood, and that's what Sean Shikin represents. He represents the animal that is inside of all of us, and we could all be a lot better like Sean Strickland. Everybody say I'm praying for Sean. I'm scared, nigga. Trust me, nobody want to go fuck with Sean Strickland. Nobody, because Sean Strickland is giving a voice to the average dude, the average dude who's just trying, the average dude that has been through some bullshit in his life, the average dude that's just trying to fucking make the ends meet. And enjoy life. That is Sean Strickland. And he wants to be free to say whatever he wants to say. You know what? I support him being free to say what he wants to say. And, and you got these weird ass people in Canada. They're just like trying to push this agenda upon him. Like, oh, Sean, uh, your, your stance is on LGBT and the trans. And Sean's like, look, I don't give a fuck. Fuck them. He's like, I don't care if you're fucking gay. You can be gay. Good. Good for you. You're gay. But keep that shit away from the fucking kids. Why do the kids got to know that you're gay? Why is that? What does that even matter? What the fuck? What, what are we talking about here? And he is correct. The same thing with the trans. Like, it's fucking weird. Hey, look, look. Have you ever seen a tranny in person? The shit's fucking weird. It, uh, n- not for nothing. I walk around the streets and when I see these weird ass people, just like, it, I'm just like, something's wrong with you. Because listen, if you were walking around saying that you were a unicorn in a unicorn dress and you're clearly a fucking 34 year old man, I'm going to tell you, look, something's wrong with you, brother. Mentally, go, go get checked up or something. I don't know what to tell you. You're not in a good headspace if you're walking around thinking that you're something that you're not. But for some reason, this, in this kooky. Uh, cuckoo world that we fucking live in where everybody's scared to get canceled which really doesn't even exist there is no such thing as cancelability there, there, let me explain something to you if you are valuable enough if you are valuable enough you cannot be canceled if you are like an electrician if you're a plumber if you're somebody that does something that basically saves people lives and keep people alive you cannot be canceled it, it's impossible to cancel you if anything people will actually flock to you like what I get to work with the cancel dude I wouldn't work with them and so the cancel shit only works if you work in, like, the public market or if your product is something that's not that good. Then you have to worry about being canceled. But as we have seen through Bud Light, through all these other different organizations that started supporting the trans thing and all these weird-ass shit, everybody's just like, dude, we're not buying no more. We're out. We're fucking out. It's fucking weird. It's fucking weird. Not for nothing. It's fucking weird. Guys wearing around in dresses and shit, calling themselves girls, it's, it's fucking strange. There's, there's nothing more to say about it. And that's what I love about Sean Strickland. He he's just keeping it in a stack. He's not he's saying, look, it's my fucking opinion. I have a voice in the microphone. I want to say what I'm gonna say. Fuck you. Fuck you. What are you gonna do about it? You gonna fight me? Go go get the hands. Go do the man dance. And one of the most gangster moves that I ever seen, people are gonna say, Oh, Sean, he's a bully. He talks about other people, he but he can't take it. That's one of the most sick things people can't differentiate between a real victim and a fucking stupid ass man that's making grown man choices that are just dumb. Bro, he got beat up as a kid by his dad. That's child abuse. Nigga, a child can't determine what happens when he gets abused. A child just wakes up in the world one day and his dad's fucking hit him. Do you know how fucked up that is? Yeah, you're going to be a little deranged. You're going to be a little psycho. Yes, I would imagine you're not going to be a normal, uh, civilized human being that operates as everybody else. Because, dude, you, you got hit and beat up as a fucking kid. There's a lot of trauma in everybody's childhood because a lot of people's parents are fucking terrible. Listen, I've been out in the, in the world. There are some fucking horrible parents out there. Horrendous, and I'm not even talking about like from beating kids and shit. Like that. I'm talking about just like their presence, what they do, how they live, how they talk, how they behave. Dude, there's there's a lot of kids going through a lot of shit because their parents fucking suck. And Sean Strickland just bringing light to that, and he's a he's a model, he's a light that if you even know if you got beat up as a kid and all this other shit, you can make something out of your life. Even though your self esteem might be low because you were dirt poor, you were white trash. He's speaking to the hearts of fucking millions of victims, and these niggas are trying to make games out of it. We're not talking about like like a, a, a victimless person. We're he's talking about grown man shit. Like, look, brother, you kiss your coach in the mouth and y'all play grab dick. That didn't happen to you as a kid. You decided as a grown ass man, uh, Triple D, just the, the plessy, to grab your coach's dick and to kiss him in the ring. That was you. That that was not uh, you getting kissed as a young boy. No, that was you at this age. You, whatever your name is, Sugar Sean. You let a guy go fuck your wife. You, you decided to put that on public information. I, he's like, I didn't do those research or digging. He's like, you guys put this out. You said it yourself. 
<laughs> he's like, what the fuck? Why? And so now you're going to bring up some shit about me getting fucked up as a kid by my dad? He's like, I'll stab you. He's like, you bring that shit up again, I will kill you. <laughs> I said, that's gangster. <laughs> and guess what? The pussy didn't do it. Because <laughs> he knew he, that nigga was dead ass. He saw the craziness that man's eye. He said, you know what? Hey, hey. Fight this nigga's enough. I do not want to get stabbed. Because listen, if Sean Shirkers say he going to do it, he's going to fucking do it. He's going to fucking do it. Now, shout out to uh, Drinkus Duplicy for not pressing charges. That's a that's a G move. He probably realized, hey, I kind of fucking earned it. I, I deserve that. So uh, you can tell he's, he's irrational minded. But at the end of the day, man, it's like, dude, Sean Strickland is the champ that we fucking deserve. This is the nigga that we want. This is our fucking president. Now, the sad thing is he's, 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 too stu- he's, he's too stupid, I guess you would say, to actually really run like America. So we can't really put that crazy nigga in office. We can't. Now, he can't be a spokesperson for us. He can't be a spokesperson. He's a very good uh, representation and model from kids that, like, the, the modern internet people kind of need. He can rally. He can rally motherfuckers. Now, we just got to get a smart person that's working with him that uh, can use that force to help. But, dude, Sean Strickland really is like the GTA character. He's like he's like Trevor. He's the fucking man. He runs around with guns. He rides a motorcycle. He shoots shit. He fucking fights. He knows how to wrestle. He refuses to fucking wrestle. <laughs> he's like, we're just going to stand and bang. He's like, I don't want to fucking get We're doing a man dance. And like he has a fun like I like his fight style. His body style is very conservative. It's very um, methodical, and it's always interesting because he's putting action on the game. He's putting action on a guy. He's constantly in the dude's face. He don't ever back down. You can say what he said when he got knocked out by Pierre, but if you go back and rewatch that fight, he had Pierre on the back foot. He had Pierre on the back foot. Now that nuclear fucking left hook bombed his ass and, and dropped him, but dog, he didn't have no fear to come to Pierre. He just like, look, it's gonna be what's gonna be. Either knocks me out or I fucking I put him down. Are we just are you gonna melt to the pressure? And see, that's the type of champion you want because he got the fighting spirit. He's not a fucking coward. And so many men in this third day to age are cowards. They're scared of fucking saying what needs to be said. Because, oh, my God, people are getting mad. And then uh, and I'm like, bro, sometimes when you say what needs to be said, it's just fucking common sense, nigga. I had, I had, I had somebody today congratulate me because some guy was talking about his divorce. And he's like, oh, I got an old text from my uh, my old ex-wife. He's like, well, I guess I'm going to go to BJJ and go get some beers after. And I'm just like, brother, stop fronting, man. Just go ahead and go back with the missus. Figure it out. Work it out. Talk it out, nigga. And I get all these people applauding me. Go, Yo, you're the man, bro. Somebody had to tell him. I'm like, are you guys fucking serious? It's the internet. What the fuck is he going to do? He's going to come try to kill me? I'm like, come, come, come. Because if, you, if you're that dumb and enraged to try to come kill me from some shit on the internet, then chances are you're not going to be successful trying to come kill me. Just chances are you're not going to be successful. So chances are... I'm going to fucking catch you while you're trying to kill me. I'm going to kill you. That's all that's going to happen. You're just going to take a long road trip to come die. Like Charles and White say. You either wanna, <laughs> you're either going to jail or you're going to die. Which one do you want to do? And here's the thing. Most human beings, they don't want to die. <laughs> and they especially don't want to go to jail before they have to. So when you keep that premise in mind and you kind of think everybody's like you, they want to do self-preservation. Self-preservation is always the number one rule in uh, survival. People are not going to go out of their fear to go do something that doesn't really bring them any type of fucking reward. And, they, they, and also, people don't like to pick on fucking strong guys. They only like to pick on the fucking the weak because it's easier to pick on weak. It's just the rule of nature. You don't want to fuck with the strong guy because you fuck with the strong guy. He's fuck around and really hurt you. And that's why I love about Sean Strickland because he's a strong guy that's choosing to be strong and everybody's running scared. Nobody wants to fight Sean. I'm not saying nobody wants to fight Sean, but nobody wants to go back to back with Sean. Because everybody's worried, like, he's a crazy person, he'll stab you. And you know what? I hope he does. Because the nigga, we need some stabbing in America. Bring back stabbing.